Hi everyone, Clayton speaking. Um, you may be wondering why I'm showing you an unpainted Space Marine. Well, I just want to give you a size comparison of what I've been working on, just in case no one's ever really bothered or seen or knows the size of uh, what I'm about to show you. So there we go. I have been working on my Revenant Titan. I've been pounding away at this for a couple of hours now with the uh, with a paintbrush, just a normal regular old paintbrush. Um, working on the bone colour on the shoulder, head, um, and the back of the weapons, uh, the little pods, energy uh, pods at the back of the weapons, um, and also I've been you can probably see from those really harsh grey strokes. I've been working on the um, on the greys over the black in preparation of feathering all all of them back in, or the black back in, I should say, um, to do the sort of the. It's it's like a an aged wraith bone sort of highlight that I'm working on for this one, um, and then the base. I've actually got it on this um, on this chipboard. And what I will be doing, because this is, this is all, this can all come apart at the torso and whatnot for now. Um, but what I will be doing is, on the saw, I'll be making this an oval, basically. Um, and then I'll cut out, through here, I'll cut out the edge, uh, the edge, I'll cut out like a little valley trough, so to speak. And then um, I'll be doing the lava in through here. Um... And I'm thinking about, thinking about, maybe doing some sort of Eldar walkway broken kind of thing around here, and maybe a couple of, a runic or a little statue or something um, around the base, just to sort of fill that out a little bit. Um, but, yeah, for people who haven't seen this before or seen my older videos, um, I'll just show you the, the Giger S style freehand on that leg shield. Um, you may notice also guys when you look at this Revenant Titan there's a couple of things. Um, there is some chipped bits, broken bits, you'll just notice at the, the tip of this shield here. Um, I did get this second hand quite cheaply. Uh, it is genuine Forge World. Um, but if you want to go through back a year or so ago now on when I first got this like an unboxing video it was it was a mess. Um, so to get it up to this point, I'm actually really quite happy so far. Um, that's the geometric pattern that I did on his other leg shield. Just there. That's all freehand work. Um, and the gemstones on the back. And then I've done the, the weapon effect um, on the sonic lances. Basically, I wanted it to be like the um, a really bright bone towards the the barrel tip and then bring it down and do a transition of color sort of into the main weapon pod and then in the back here this will all be um this will all be aged and the, all the gemstones done and whatnot there as well you can see i've done inside the shields the the blue osl and uh, there'll be blue osl all over this thing um i haven't even started on the pilot inside yet i don't think i can get the head off at the moment um and you'll see there's a lightning style effect through here so in my mind the way i'm doing it is this weapon's this weapon's about to be fired so it's got the the sonic whatever <laughs> going through that one there and then that one there you can see i've painted it's got it doesn't have the lightning effect so that one's already been shot and then he's sort of cranking on that one ready to ready to give it a whirl so there you go guys that's what i've been working on just a quick bench update um i hope you like it there's a lot of work gone into this thing, and there will be, I don't know how many more hours left to do, but it's a labour of love, and I will get it finished this year. I do promise that. Alright, cheers for watching. Just like, comment, and subscribe if you're digging what I'm doing. Um, cheers, take care. Thank you for watching.